Hi loves, in today's video I will be showing you guys how I got this everyday makeup look. This is something I would do. So yeah, let's just get started. I already primed my face and I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and for foundation I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick in the shade Y375. The reason why I didn't show myself applying the foundation is because the lighting was kind of off so I just decided to not show that part but I will on my next video. For concealer I use the Maybelline Femi Concealer in the shade number 10. One of the best concealers out there. Highly recommend it. After I finish applying concealer I will be going in with my beauty blender and just blending everything out. The baking powder I will be using is by Makeup Revolution. I've been using this powder for a while now and I really really love it. It's only like 7 or $8 at Ulta. I'm not sure but it's so worth it. It's worth the money especially being so cheap. I've took flash pictures and it doesn't give me any flashbacks so that's a really good thing. And I heard a lot of good reviews about this powder. And I've had it for a while like I said so if you guys don't have it and if you guys are looking for a good inexpensive powder then I really recommend this one and I'm now just removing all that powder that I applied and I am gonna be bronzing my face with the butter bronzer by physicians formula I I've been obsessed with this as well I'm pretty sure you guys already know because I've been using it for my past videos the brush I'm using to apply this is the elf complexion brush and these are really really good quality brushes as well I really really like it to apply bronzer for blush i'm using the dandelion blush by benefit cosmetics the brush i'm using is by real techniques and it's just a blush brush that rhymes but yeah i'm also cleaning everything up that way everything can look so much cleaner and as well as sharper and it just makes everything look so soft and it makes it just pretty much cleans everything up let's just put it that way and for highlight i'm using so hollywood by anastasia one of my favorite highlights of all time and i'm just highlighting wherever i normally highlight Moving on to the eyes, I will be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm mixing these two lighter brown shades and I'm applying it on the crease. I'm using my Morphe M441 brush to apply this and this is just going to work as a transition color because I'm not doing anything crazy on the eyes. The color I will be adding on the eyelid is this yellowish mustardy eyeshadow and I'm just applying this with my Morphe E23 brush. I believe that's an E23 brush. If not, everything will be listed down below like always. But I'm just pretty much applying this on the eyelid, kind of pressing down the eyeshadow first and then blending everything together with the rest of the colors I had already applied there. One more time, I'm going in with my Morphe M441 brush and I'm using this orangey color and just applying a tiny bit on the crease just to make it more vibrant because it was looking kind of plain. And this look I recreated so many times. Every time I go out and I don't want to do anything, like I said, crazy, I always go with this look. You play the game. Cards in your hand. Here's a wild card you didn't 
Now I'm applying some mascara to my eyelashes and the lashes I will be using today are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bees. These are so pretty and I've used them for like the past three videos, not three videos, probably like two, but you guys are always asking what they're called and these are the Queen Bees like I said, they're so pretty and kind of natural at the same time. I know you guys are probably going to be like, no girl, that's not natural, but this is just something i do and I, I just love and wear all the time i know you guys have been waiting for a video about myself but i promise it will be coming very soon this year i'm gonna be doing so much more videos than i was doing last year this year is gonna be amazing i already know and i do have a video coming up with someone really special you guys have never seen this person before so stay tuned because it's gonna be a good one if you guys are excited to see who's gonna be on my video, please give this video a huge thumbs up right now and also let me know in the comment section who you guys think it's gonna be. But this look is all complete. I really hope you guys loved it and I will see you guys next time. No matter what I do, you see straight through.